31 kills in a 1.48 average KD lobby. Today, we're going to be breaking down gameplay from one of the best rebirth players out there right now, Nixta. And we're really going to be paying attention to two things in particular. The first is going to be his tracking. And no, not his tracking in a cheating sense, but his close range engagements. This is going to help you a lot in sweaty lobbies. When he's in close range engagements and somebody tries to break his camera or somebody quickly slides around him, he's actually going to un-ADS, recenter his crosshairs, then be able to hit fire a little bit and then ADS again. And we're going to really slow-mo that to show you how it's done the second is how he's constantly moving he's constantly repositioning constantly using information to figure out where he needs to go to next let's get into it now as we're getting started here i am going to leave links to both his youtube channel and his twitch channel in the description below make sure you go check him out like i said he is easily one of the best rebirth players out there the other thing i do want to focus on today is going to be his centering how he anticipates people because he is constantly anticipating people he's constantly centering his crosshairs even pre-firing so well, let's go ahead and jump in notice the little Right here, this is what I'm talking about. We're going to start this very early on. Watch the un-ADS when somebody's in close range, and he's in a situation where he loses that person. This is something where, look at the un-ADS right there, and then he re-ADSs. So it's an un-ADS to then track that person, and then go ahead and re-ADS to hit those headshots. So you're kind of using that to your advantage. And while you're on ADS, you're going to be hit firing. So you're still able to use damage. And he's going to keep doing this throughout the game. It's something that you really have to do in sweaty lobbies. Here it is again. Iskra skin kind of breaks his camera a little bit. Not fully, but if you're ADS here, this is tough to track. There's the un-ADS. Notice how because he's on ads here, that allows him to easily track. He's able to get that down. He's able to get that thirst. And he's got to figure out where everybody is next. People up top, people over Nova 6. And like I said, this is a crazy sweaty lobby. There it is again. I mean, you just, you're just you going to constantly see it throughout the game. And part of it is if you've watched me live on stream before, you know that hip firing is broken. It's one of the most annoying things about this game. You can hip fire everything. So there's the hip fire a little bit. There's the un-ADS. There's the re-ADS to kind of get that down and get that thirst. He's already got five kills. He's off to a great start here. He's got nine other teams still up. By the way, quick tip. If you do land kind of prison headquarters, that area, throw this loadout right there in Grandma's house. You can actually get it in that second, in that second window or in that second room. So we're also going to be talking about getting... Right here. This so is where you can get it. So crazy. We're also going to be talking going. about how he's constantly moving. Man, when does he reach out? When does he not reach out? He reach out right there. He's able to hit all of his shots. He's in a good spot here. Information. Yeah, he's got yeah, three or two over now. Back. One over this way. Tomorrow. I am That's live on so Twitch. Crazy. You got to love it. So Make sure you go check out his Twitch channel. You, for sure. So he's going to go ahead and push over here. He knows there's people over in bunker building still over in this building this way. And that's where you constantly have to keep track of information, especially in sweaty lobbies. Constantly keeping track of who's around you, how many people, who's flying in. Those are things that will help you become more successful. I get the question, how do I stop getting third partied? One over this way, use your audio cues. He's going to hit shots. And look, in sweaty lobbies, aim and movement are crucial. Definitely crucial. And we're going to see that throughout the game. One down below here. He's going to hit all of his shots. There it is again. And, and look, I'm just going to keep highlighting it here in the sense that I want you to pay attention to it and start to do it. It's something that will take your game to the next level and really help you with your tracking. At the end of the day, when you're on ADS, your sensitivity is faster. So there's the on ADS because he knows that this guy, this CDL skin, has a little bit of an advantage. You kind of take away that jump peak, take away that bunny hop because you're able to track them easier. And yes, it's going to take some getting used to. He gets the down right there, sees one flying in. He uses his movement right there. A little bunny hop, but the bunny hop wasn't necessary. The bunny hop just helped him get further out, but he did jump straight there. And that's where I talk about basic movement. But quick reload. He accidentally cancels the reload. He's down bad. Yep. And let's definitely show Nixus some love here in terms of in the comments. You know, he is, I think he's one of the most underappreciated and under, uh, what's underrated rebirth players out there. He's going to push down below based on information. Unfortunately, his teammates are going to go ahead and kill him. Now, he's got nine kills. He's got nine other teams still up. Real quick, while I was rotating here, if you are looking to get better at Rebirth, I do videos every single day. I live stream on YouTube four days a week. So just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And like I said, if you want to know when I'm posting and going live, make sure you turn on that notification bell. My whole goal as a 4KD player is simply to help you get better. And I want to rewind this because we're going to get that down. This is where I talk about constantly moving. So watch what's going to happen here. He's actually going to he's going to chow around this corner, right? He's going to get shot right here. Okay, so he gets shot right there. So he's going to break the line of sight to start that re-challenge. Step number one to re-challenge is breaking the line of sight to be unpredictable. Step number two is going to be to jump peek, do a move around a corner. and the But here's why I want to highlight this. The moment he does this move around the corner and he realizes that he's not going to get the kill, he doesn't chase. 
he immediately pushes up to start repositioning. Now, they do have a UAV up, a little drop under the prox mine there, but I highlight that because of his pace of play. It is an immediate re-challenge, and if he doesn't have that advantage, then he's out of there. Then he's going to go ahead and he's going to reposition up. He's going to start to play it up. Now, he knows people. there's people over control. They have UAV up, a bunch of people God, down below, like and this, this lobby is actually going to get smoked. If, meat, this could have been a 40 for him what if this lobby doesn't get absolutely torched one down below so he's gonna play back in here and he just hit shots so well be unpredictable trying to see what he can find he tries to wall bang him right there you never know what can happen it's so funny, many man. of these clips on tiktok and youtube that people are like he's cheating he's got wall hacks are simply because they take the shots and sometimes they hit and 99.9% .9 of the time they don't and you, you don't see the 99.9% .9 of the time but being able to take that shot really you funny. might hit him and that gives you the advantage of getting oh, information oh oh okay so he's gonna go ahead and push over to control here and, and, by the way, in terms of controller, he does play Claw, FYI, just because I know some people are always curious about Claw versus Paddles. He does play Claw. He's going to keep pushing, try to see what he can find. Look at the centering. It's just, it's so second nature for somebody like him at this point to just put your crosshairs where you think people are going to be. Try to see what he can find. Gets one right there. Now he's going to get that information in Heli, unfortunately. Can we, what do we, can we get rid of Helis? Like, please, can we just get rid of Helis? And notice the pace of play has slowed down a little bit. Doesn't really have enough for a UAV just yet. Can't really figure out where people are. He's not getting any shooting on the minimap besides pretty far away. Now he hears one right there. Look at the shots with the Owen gun. The Owen gun's just so good. It's so good. One down below, so he's going to go ahead and challenge. Catches him right there. Hit shots again. He almost gets caught there, actually, not being caught in this tax sprint. This is what I always tell you to be careful of, is right in this moment right here. Right in this moment, three, two one right there is the moment you want to be careful now this person's already broken has a pretty good rechallenge, but at that point it's too late and he's also going to hit fire it's not going to matter so he gets the wipe right there 14 kills seven other team really good pace watch this chat i don't even have words for this actually yes no i do way. oh no dude. here's what i'll tell you about this play right here so nixta is unpredictable the other person is also trying to be unpredictable, but misses, and it's unfortunate for this guy down here that he kind of gets stuck no trying to oh, jump no, up. Dude. And, bro, you know, that's where the TTK is come so on, fast that you can really take come advantage. Dixta is unpredictable. That guy's unpredictable at the come end on, of the bro. day. You know, that, the you other know. guy falls into a little bit of an unfortunate course, situation, but yeah. Dixta still has to hit shots like and, really and execute on and that and be able to rechallenge that well. In Heli, trying to see what he can find, and he's right. His teammates are really down bad here. Use the communication tower. Finally, he has some information. He gets shots with the Ram 7 right there. Is the Ram 7... It's, it's good. It's viable right now. The the meta's close enough. And when I say meta, I'm talking about the overall picture of guns. It's close enough that it's usable. And one thing that I do want to... I talked about this on stream earlier today. So many people are worried about what's the best gun and, and everything like that. And should I use this gun or that gun? Should I use this gun or that gun? At the end of the day, find what the meta is. Find what the meta is and use it. Until you get to the point where you're probably a 1.5 or even a 2 KD player... Then you should be using no, meta guns. Now you want to figure out which one of the meta guns yeah, you're most comfortable with and which one you can hit your shots with. God. But at the you end of the day, you know, I I'm sorry, this is gonna cause some controversy, but if you're using the LC10, you're most likely losing gunfights because you're using the LC10. And until you can start hitting shots and being confident in your aim and movement, that once you start getting confident with understanding who to push and how to push and centering your crosshairs like he's doing right here and being unpredictable with his challenges, look at this position right here. He gets one right there. He gets the down. He still has a ton of information up. Still has a ton of information. Until you can get to the point where you're executing really well, you should be using somewhat meta guns. Around the corner, he hit fires, hit fires. Hit fires again, and he's constantly pre-firing. He's constantly centering, which is crucial for these sweaty lobbies. But like I said, one of the biggest things that I want you to take away from this video is learning that un ADS to hit fire to retract somebody move. It's gonna help you a lot in sweaty lobbies. I promise you, because it helped me a lot. One up top there. Watch. There it is again, right here. He's gonna slide in. And it doesn't have to be. It's it's subtle. It happens very quick. I mean, you're letting go of that ADS button. For half second to retrack, right? He's gonna retrack right here. There it is. He gets the down. He gets the thirst. One up top somewhere. So he's trying to figure out where he is. He's gonna go ahead and keep trying to challenge here. 20 kills, by the way. You see how this pace of play happens. And there's only four teams left. Lobby's pretty much smoked at this point. One right there. The Iskra skin. The Iskra's the new sweat skin, isn't it? Down back this way. Watch him just torch this guy. He even does it with an AR. I mean, this is where I talk about just how valuable... This is where I talk about how broken hip firing is, in my opinion, and how valuable it is. Watch him do it with the Ram 7. 
there's the and there he he just uh, because that person is potentially going to keep sliding so nixta wants to be able to track that person as he's pushing past him the guy ends up stopping and he's in a good spot to get that kill now he's going to go ahead and push up and like oh, really i mean the ram 7 at that range is just money the biggest problem with the ram 7 is the range on it but in that range it's just really good have enough for another uav he's already at 23 kills and like i said this lobby just died it could have been a much much better game but Lobby just got absolutely smoked. I mean, second circle, there's only three other teams left. Deceiving chat. And it's because the sweaty players are wiping everybody. Watch this. Now he ends yeah. up going down. And I say watch this because once again, once again, watch. Right there. So he's going to un ADS right there to track. Now he ends up basically stop shooting a little bit too early but he rechallenges yeah, well he yeah. ends up going down he's gonna fly back in here he's gonna fly back in if you fly back in with the milano by the way use it i mean that gun's just incredible to fly in with and he's in a he's in a tough spot he's just gonna keep moving though pace of play and when i say keep moving i'm not talking about pace of play necessarily yes i want you to be playing faster be using you know and slide canceling and constantly repositioning but also keep in mind that the moment you stop moving and somebody knows where you are, they're going to push you and they're going to anticipate you, especially in sweaty lobbies. That's what people are looking for. Right there. Guy stopped moving. Nixta knows he's down there. He's going to go ahead and challenge and hit him. Now watch around the corner here. He's going to hit fire. Hit firing is one of the biggest benefits and one of the biggest things that you can focus on to improve as a player, especially in those close quarters, especially for my console players, especially for my console players. That's going to be a huge benefit for you. 27 kills. He's got three other teams around the corner. He hits him with a little bunny hop, a little one-two right there. He's going to get... His, did he get both of those? He did get both of those. Wow. Now he's got his guns back, and he's good to go. By the way, if you are looking for high kill rebirth loadouts as well, you made it this far. First things first, if you made it this far. Thank you. Second, if you are looking for high kill rebirth loadouts, I am doing a second channel right now focused on high kill rebirth loadouts. Posting three to four videos a week over there. I'll go ahead and put that link down in the description. He rechallenges perfectly there. He's able to get... And that's where he's unpredictable. That's where you can really take advantage of those where when you are a... When you constantly have sweaty players going up against one another... They don't necessarily anticipate those real re-challenges. Re They're back always back thinking back. ahead, yes, yes, but you yes. still have to be able to execute. You still got to be able to jump right. peek those corners. Still got to be able to hit shots. 30 kills, three other teams up, trying to figure hey, out where everybody is. Yes, Not really a ton baby, of information. Yes, yes, and yes, what yes, amazes yes, me yes. About, about him is nah, he's just chilling. He's just vibing. I mean, when we talk about people that are naturally gifted at Call of Duty, yes, he plays a lot. But look... The same way that in any other sport, in basketball, in baseball, in football, there are people that are naturally good at this game, and he is one of them. He's vibing with chat. He's hanging out. He's talking to them. He's locked in, but he's also just casually hitting shots over here. He's going to get one there. He mounts, by the way. Don't be afraid to mount as we're wrapping this game up right here. Don't be afraid to mount. It's a huge advantage. He gets one right there. Gets the down. Gets the thirst. One to his left. One straight ahead. He just died in gas. Quick little fast forward there, by the way. He cut it real quick just because a lot of stuff. And there's the win right there. So there's 31 kills. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.